In this tutorial, I'm gonna teach you how to configure MemberPress with BuddyBoss Platform. And MemberPress has a lot of options, so I'm gonna go through the ones that make sense for most of our customers. I'm gonna show you how to create memberships, connect them to pricing, control BuddyBoss uh, content with MemberPress, control access to LearnDash courses with MemberPress, redirect the registration to your MemberPress tier, and some other things related to all that. So to get started, Let's go into our plugins. MemberPress is a paid product, so you'll have to have purchased MemberPress and added it. And you might also want to add MemberPress plus BuddyPress integration. It's an add-on for MemberPress that adds some extra options for BuddyPress. BuddyBoss Platform is a fork of BuddyPress, and most BuddyPress plugins work out of the box with BuddyBoss Platform, including this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and activate that. You can only get this plugin if you're a paid customer of MemberPress. So if you go into your MemberPress account, you'll be able to find in your downloads area BuddyPress integration you can download from here. You can also go into MemberPress add-ons and search for it from there. So we've got that added. Let's get started here just by creating a couple of memberships. So I'm gonna go into MemberPress memberships. This is where we manage all our memberships. Each membership you can think of as a kind of tier or level that can have access rules connected to it and can have a price connected to it. And your members can have one or multiple memberships at the same time. So let's go ahead and create our first membership. I'm just gonna call this tier one. You can name it whatever you want. And we're gonna publish it. And let's click view membership just to see where we're at. So we can see it's got a title and a description and by default it's free. Because I'm logged in already, it's pre-filling my first and last name to sign up. Let's give it a price. So I can say it's $100 and the billing I'm gonna say is recurring. Let's say a monthly. And we can give it a trial period of 10 days. All right. You can set that up however you want. We'll refresh. 10 days for free, then $100 a month. Okay. And if I view this incognito, this is how a logged out user will experience it. And you can see from here, they can create their account. They add their first and last name, create a username, email, password, and sign up. And then in the next step, it's gonna ask them to pay. And these fields here get synced to the BuddyBoss social fields. So this becomes their first name and last name in, in their BuddyBoss profile. And this will become their starter nickname and also be the URL in their profile. Let's come back here and create a second membership. So I'll call this one tier two. And let's say this one is $200 recurring monthly. And there's no trial period for this one. We can view our membership. Now, of course, for someone to actually purchase this, you need to set up a payment gateway to collect payments. So you can go into member press settings and payments, and then we'll set up a payment method by clicking that plus. You can give it a name, and so the default one is off offline payment, but you could set up PayPal or Stripe or authorized.net, whatever you want. I'm not gonna go through this all. right now. You can find member press tutorials that show you in detail how to configure all this. This will allow people to purchase the membership for real with PayPal or Stripe or authorized.net. And then just to continue on a, the sort of high level tour, if you go into subscriptions, all the subscriptions that have been purchased will show up. And you could also go into reports and they have a really nice dashboard that's going to give you financial reporting data showing all the transactions that have happened once you actually have real transactions on your site. 
All right, so let's continue with the membership tiers. I'm gonna show you another cool thing. If I go into member press groups, we're gonna create a new group. And what we're actually creating here is a group of memberships. It's kind of confusing to call it a group. Think of it more like we're building a pricing page. Just create, call this whatever you want. And then the tiers, I'm gonna say tier one and tier two, and configure upgrade paths and all this stuff. MemberPress has a lot of options, so I don't wanna go deep into all of these. You can read their tutorials. I just wanna give you kind of a high level of how to configure things. And we'll go deeper into the things that are specific to Buddy Boss and LearnDash in a moment. So now we can view this page. And these are our two pricing tiers. I'm gonna turn off comments. I don't think that looks very good. Refresh. So these are our two pricing tiers. And so we've created a kind of pricing page. So then if we go back to our memberships, let's edit tier one. And from here we can go into price box. And this is going to control the things that show up in this page. So the benefits, this is where you'll kind of list out all the awesome stuff people get with their membership. I could rename it to purchase. All right, let's update that and refresh. And now we can see we have these benefits listed and we can come back here and check highlighted if you want to and update that. And if I refresh this, this one will be highlighted. So you can imagine if you had three or four, maybe you wanna highlight one like that's the default membership or something. So again, this is how we create a kind of pricing page. You put these together in a group. All right, so now I'm gonna go into their BuddyPress options. So if I go into MemberPress settings, we can click on the BuddyPress tab and we will check enable BuddyPress integration. So they have default free membership. So here, this is an important note. We're going to determine how do we let people register. There are a couple of options. So as you can see here, if the user signs up via BuddyPress's signup page, you could reinterpret that as BuddyBoss signup page, then no payment can be collected. Therefore, the member will get lifetime free access to the default membership you choose here. If you need to charge you, your users, then we recommend that you disable signups and instead force the users to sign up via MemberPress. Okay, so let's say your initial tier, your lowest tier is free. If you wanted to, you could set that as the default membership and save this. And then when I go to view the site logged out and click on sign up, we will be signing up through the regular form from BuddyBoss platform. It's going to register the user and automatically add them into whichever tier you put here. However, if tier one is paid, then you would not want to do that because the user is bypassing the member press registration and the member press registration is the form that takes them into pay before their account is created. So in this example that I'm showing you here, tier one is paid. You'll recall it's hundred dollars a month. So this is not really going to make any sense. So instead what we're going to do is go into buddy boss, settings and under registration we can see the registration form is set to the buddy boss registration form we're going to switch that to custom url and then we could put this button if we want it we could put any any url we want i'm going to use this one our pricing page and i'm going to put that in there and save and now when i come logged out to view the site. If I click sign up or register, 
any of those links. It's going to direct us to the pricing page. And then the user would click here and they create their account. Now, one question that comes up sometimes, people ask us, how do I add the Buddy Boss profile fields to this registration form? Unfortunately, the BuddyPress integration for MemberPress doesn't have that option. So at least at this time, they're not offering that. So the user is going to sign up using this. And if you've configured a payment integration, they're gonna pay and their account is created. First name, last name, and username are synced again to the Buddy Boss profile fields. After they create their account, they could go back to their profile and edit the fields. So you'll notice that this pricing page just looks okay. We actually have some layout options to make this look nicer. So I'm gonna go edit this page, the group. And from here, you'll see that currently it's set to minimal gray horizontal. MemberPress comes with some different options. So the two that I think look best are clean or custom. Let me just go to clean for a second. And we'll view that. That's the clean style. And then we also have custom. And this one we've styled specially to really match the Buddy Boss theme. So let's refresh that. In my opinion, this looks the best in terms of matching our theme style. Okay, so that's how that works. And then let's just go back into member press settings, body press, just to check out what else they have there. If I come back, you'll see they have one other option, which is a default group for all members. And from here, you can check any specific body boss social groups that you want all the new members to be automatically enrolled into. They decided to add this as a feature in their integration. It's there, you can use it if you want. All right, so now we have users registering either through the Buddy Boss registration form or being directed to pay through a member press tier and then paying for a subscription to get access to a membership level. So the next question might be, what do we actually do with that membership level? How do we control access? So for that, we go into member press rules. And from here, we can create a new rule. And you can think of each rule as a kind of access control tied to a membership. So we can give a name that's descriptive. So all content, let's say, that's fine. So the all content rule for this one, we're going to say that all content is protected. Okay, and you can see what that means. Select the content of your site that will be protected by the rule. If piece of content is selected by this rule, it will be protected from non-logged in visitors and from logged in users who don't meet the conditions you specify, All right? And then we can say grant access if user matches any of the conditions. I'll say membership is whatever, tier one. And we could add an exclusion if we want. So what this is gonna say is that all content on the site is blocked for logged out users and nobody can get access to all content on the site unless they have tier one membership. Even someone with tier two doesn't have access to all content on the site because we blocked it to tier one. Now, if you wanna grant access to also tier two, we could do that. And now you have to have tier one or tier two, all right? So you can get creative with uh, your exclusions and your tiers, however you wanna control that. And you might wanna get more granular and say tier, tier one has access to forums. Let's say, let's say it's forums. We could say like this. We could say that tier one and tier two have access to forums and we could create another rule for all content and give that to tier two. So then tier one has access to forums and tier two has access to everything. You could do something like that. You could also go in and do custom URI. And this is where it unlocks a lot of power. A URI is kind of like a fragment of a URL. So you can go here and watch a video where they explain it all in detail. I would actually read this whole article and it shows you how to cu customize everything. Custom URI allows you to protect files and pages by what's in the URL, right? 
So if I were to add groups as a custom URI, then any URL that has groups in it is going to be protected. So using this, you can control very specific areas of your network. All right, so now I wanna move into LearnDash and show you how you can protect course content using MemberPress. So if I go back to plugins, you'll see I have this plugin called LearnDash MemberPress, which I'm gonna activate. So if I Google that, we can see the result. It's a plugin that you can get from the LearnDash website. In your WordPress admin area, navigate to LearnDash LMS add-ons, locate this plugin and download it. You can also go into this website from LearnDash if you're logged into LearnDash support and click this link here to download the plugin from this website and upload it manually through your backend. So we have that activated now. So if I go into MemberPress memberships, let's open up tier one. And you'll see we have a new tab called LearnDash where we can control some things related to LearnDash. So from here, I can check which courses are protected by this membership. If we go back to their documentation, you can see time to associate your LearnDash courses with the membership you just created. Doing so will mean that once a user purchases or gains access to the membership, they will automatically have access to the courses as well. You may link multiple courses to a single membership. So let's say test course, it's one of the courses on my site. I want to link to this membership, all right? So now when someone gains access to tier one, however they get it, if I add them through the back end or they purchase it or if it's free and they're auto enrolled in it, whatever, as soon as they get access to this tier one membership, they will also get access to this test course. Now, let me copy this URL and we're gonna go into the courses. There's one more step that I think you should take to make this nice. And let's view test course. Actually, I'm gonna view logged out. And you can see it's open registration right now. So I'm gonna come back to the course and edit it. And we're gonna to go to settings and I'm gonna make this a closed course. And I can set a price, say $100, it's $100 per month. This is like free form, so I could say $100 per month. And we're going to add as the button URL, the URL to that tier one. Or if maybe you had multiple options, you could add that pricing page that we created earlier. So let's update that. And we'll come back here and refresh. This is the a logged out view. I'm, I'm coming here because this user does not have access. You can see not enrolled, $100 a month. And if I click the button, it takes me to purchase tier one, which is going to grant us access into that course. So this is how I recommend setting up the LearnDash courses if you're going to protect them by membership. If you have multiple memberships that would all give you access to this course, you can get creative with how you set up member press groups, which again is just a way of creating a pricing page with multiple membership tiers in it. So let's say there are three different memberships that potentially unlock this course. You could put all three into a member press group and use that link here to direct them. And then they could pick which option they wanna buy and it would unlock the course. So hopefully that gives you a nice introduction into how to set up member press with BuddyBoss and LearnDash. Make sure to check out docs.memberpress.com. You can go here to find detailed tutorials on all of the deeper parts of MemberPress.